Hi, I'm Matt Arndt. And I'm Bart Taylor. And in this episode, we will talk about the fresh water system and demonstrate operating the system. The only equipment you need is a potable water hose and a water pressure regulator. All of our units come equipped with a fresh water tank, but please note size can vary significantly by unit type and model. All units are also equipped with low point drains, which are located underneath the RV. These are the lowest point in the entire water system and designed to drain water from the water tank and all water lines. Look for the blue cold or red hot water lines and a white low point drain for the fresh water tank. When using the fresh water system or using the water system, be sure these are closed so the water coming in doesn't drain right out the bottom of the unit. How you plan to camp will determine how you use your fresh water system. If you are dry camping, meaning no water supply available at the campsite, you will need to fill the fresh water tank before getting to the campsite. Keep in mind, fresh water is also considered cargo. Therefore, the cargo carrying capacity of the RV is reduced by roughly 8.3 pounds per gallon. Important notes, only use potable water in the fresh water system. The term potable water means water that is safe to drink. For your safety, it is recommended the fresh water system be sanitized before using. This process uses a bleach water solution to keep the system clean and free of potential bacteria or viral contamination. Potable fresh water is supplied to the RV in two ways. By filling the fresh water tank and pumping the water through the system with the water pump or connecting a potable water hose to the city water fill, which automatically pressurizes the system. First, let's review the two methods available to fill the fresh water tank. For the gravity water fill, remove the cap on the exterior connection labeled fresh water connection. Insert the hose from your water source and turn on the water. There is no automatic shutoff, so do not leave the unit unattended while filling the fresh water tank. Periodically, check the monitor panel to determine the level of water in the tank. When the panel reads full, turn off the water supply immediately to avoid damage to the system, which would not be covered under warranty. For the pressure water fill, these units are typically equipped with valves in the convenience center that allow additional functionality. Turn the valves into the tank fill position and turn on the water supply, like the gravity fill. There is no automatic shutoff, so do not leave the unit unattended while filling the fresh water tank. Periodically, check the monitor panel to determine the level of water in the tank. When full, turn the water source off immediately to avoid damage to the system, which would not be covered under warranty. Once the tank has fresh water, turn on the water pump, typically located on the monitor panel. The system is designed to only run when a demand is placed on the system. So when you turn on a faucet, the pump will turn on and pump water to the location requested. Once the faucet is turned off, the water pump will cycle off until the faucet is turned on again, placing demand upon the system again or until there is no longer water in the fresh tank. Now let's discuss camping where there is a water supply available or using city water. The city water fill allows a pressurized fresh pot of a water line connection, water spigot, direct to the RV. Because the connection is pressurized, there is no need to use the water pump. This method also bypasses the fresh water tank and feeds the entire fresh water system directly. Connect the city water fill using a hose manufactured for potable water use and turn on the source. After a brief delay while air is purged from the line the first time, water will be present at the desired location. Do not leave the RV unattended for extended periods of time when hooked to city water fill. Now that we've hooked up water to the RV, we will fill the water heater tank. Note, do not start the water heater unless it has water in it. If equipped, turn the water heater bypass off to fill and supply water to the water heater tank. This bypass may be located in the convenience center outside, or you may have to find the false panel inside the RV to access the bypass on the back of the water heater. To verify there is water in the water heater, open the relief valve located on the outside of the water heater. If water is present at the relief valve, you can be sure there is sufficient water in the water heater to operate. Now open a hot water faucet. The water will travel from the source into the water heater and then present itself at the faucet when the water heater is full. For more information on your fresh water system, please consult your owner's manual, which can also be found digitally on our website. Now you're almost ready to use your fresh water system. Join us in our next video where we turn on propane and appliances. <music>